everyone. Monkey and I, we're ready for our maths lesson. Hope you are too. Have you got everything you need? Well, let's get started. Today, we're going to sing a different counting back song. Again, we're thinking about zero. So we're thinking about counting backwards, taking one away each time until we end up with nothing left. Our song today is going to be all about frogs. My speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. Let's sing our song. Oh monkey, I can see you've got your picture of the pond that you drew again. What a lovely log you've got on it here. I've put my frogs on it. Wonder how many there are. Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five. We can use this to sing our song. Five little speckled frogs. Are you ready? Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two, three, four. I wonder how many there will be next time. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Let's check. One, two, three. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Let's count them to check. One, two. We've got two. I wonder how many there'll be after we sing the next verse. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one speckled frog. Glub, glub. We've got one frog left. If we take this one away as well, I wonder how many will be left on the log. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no more speckled frogs. Glub, glub. That's right. On my speckled log, there are no more speckled frogs. That means there are zero. Zero frogs left on the log. It's your turn to sing the song with me now as we count backwards down to zero. Are you ready? Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two, three, four. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two, three. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled
could look, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no more speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Let's have a go at this activity together. I can see across the top of the screen we've got numbers. Can you see them? There's zero, one, two, three, four, and five. There are also plates with buns on them from the baker shop. And there's some trees with apples on them as well. Now our job is to match up the number of buns on the plates with the number at the top, the numeral at the top. And then we're going to do the same with the trees. Shall we have a go? So, what's my first numeral? Let's have a look. My first numeral is zero. It's the one that we've been learning about today. Zero. So I need to find a plate with no buns on it. So let's have a look at them. How many buns have I got on this plate? One, two. It can't be that plate then, because there are buns on this plate, so I'm going to move this plate out of the way. Let's have a look at the next plate. That's got one, two, three. Oh, it can't be that plate either, because that's got three buns on it. I'm looking for one with zero buns on it. Have you spotted it yet? Let's have a look all the way across. I've got one, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four. Oh, here's a plate here. There are no buns on that plate. There are zero buns on the plate. So let's move that one across. Let's put it under the numeral zero. Now, my next number is the number one. So I need a plate with one bun on it. Well, that's got three on it, so that can't be right. Let's move that one out of the way as well. Let's have a look at the next one. That had five on it. Oh, do you know what the number five looks like? Should we count across the top? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I can move that one over there because I know that's got five on it. So I'm still looking for a plate with one bun on it. Let's have a look at the next one. How many buns on this plate? One, well done. Let's move that one across. So now I've got zero. One, two for my next plate. One, two, oh, there it is. Ooh, that's a tree. Let's put the tree back. Get the plate with the buns on it. Two, so I've got zero, one, two. My next number is three. This plate here has got one, two, three. So I put that one underneath. There we go. My next plate needed how many buns? That's right, four. One, two, three, four. So I've got four for this plate. And four is my number, so they match. And my last plate, we'd already put in the place, hadn't we? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the trees now. So I need how many first? Zero. So I'm looking along for my tree with no apples. There it is. Let's move that one across. Now my next tree needs one apple. Oh, look, there it is. It's the first one. Put that tree there. Then I need two. One, two, three. No, it's not that one. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's not that one. One, two. Two. I can move that one across. And then my next number is... Three. Let's go look at the apples again. One, two, three. Oh, it's the first tree I've counted. There we go. Then I need four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, it's not that one. That's got five on it. One, two, three, four. Move the apple tree across. And my last one left, we've already counted these, had five on it. So I can match that one up with the five. That was fun. You could have a go at creating your own version of that activity. 
I'm going to start off by writing the number 0 to 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, just move your foot monkey, 5. So I've got my numerals at the top of the page and then I'm going to use the current buns that I made earlier. And you can see my current buns. I put different number of currents in them. So my first bun has got one, two, two currents in it. So I'm going to put that one by the number two. My next bun has one, two, three, four, four currents. So I'm going to put that by the number four. How many currents are in this bun? Can you count them with me? One, two, three. So that's going to go under the three. How many currents in this bun? One. And how many currents in this bun? One, two, three, four, five. No, I haven't got a bun with zero currents. So I'm gonna draw one quickly. So I'm going to have my cherry, I'm going to have my bun with the lovely icing, and draw the bun underneath. Shall I draw any currents on it? No, you're right. It doesn't need any currents, does it? Have fun having a go at this activity at home. Thank you for joining us for Mass today. I had in fun singing the Five Little Speckled Frog song. I think that's one of my favourite ones. Especially when we take one away each time and then we end up with zero frogs left. And Monkey, what did you really enjoy? Oh, Monkey said he really liked matching up the number cards to the quantities of objects. And he thought it was funny when he had zero and there were no objects to put on it. Thank you for joining us again. Bye for now.